Uh, and then a big Nintendo Switch Online update. Yes! Uh, this is Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack. So if you have that, the more expensive subscription, for the Game Boy Advance, you get links, uh, a Link to the Past plus Four Swords adventure so, and Metroid Zero Mission. So I was confused because it said The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Yes. And I was like, wait, I thought it was called The Legend of Zelda, The Four Swords. No. So originally when they ported A Link to the Past to the GBA, they included the four swords adventure like the original four swords and then four swords spun off to become its own thing oh so yeah. that's a different game that's a different the legend game. of zelda four swords is a different game yes this okay. this is a legend of zelda the link to the past four swords so are you playing a link to the past with four people no it's a different game altogether so when you want to play with four people you're playing a different game yes but then i can i also play a link to the past yeah it's too, when you boot up the game, you've picked. Do you want to play Link to the Past or do you want to play Four Swords? Okay. That's what it is. Does that make sense? It's like. Yes. But then this title screen says A Link to the Past Four Swords. Yes, because that's, <laughs> na- that's the name of this particular okay. game. It's like. It's like how the Mario games on Game Boy Advance are Super no, Mario World no, no, no. 4. It's more Mario like, 3. It's more like. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Except that there's also a game called Bowser's Fury and it's right. a, a completely different game. Well, <laughs> that's what I mean. That's yes, what it is. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. And then Metroid Zero Mission, the best version of the original Metroid game. Yeah, I've never played Metroid it's Zero It's very Mission. good. We have it. I've never yeah. touched it. So uh, maybe that'll get me to actually beat the original Metroid. Yeah. The problem is we have Metroid well, Fusion. That game fucking rules. So yes. why would I want to well, play anything else? This game... Also fucking rule. Pause it because we got to get into that in a second. Um, this game also fucking rules. It takes a lot of elements from Metroid uh, Fusion, adds it to this. But also, too, when you beat the Metroid part of it, there's a whole extra game. There's a z- that, That's where the Zero Mission comes in. Oh. They added so much more to it. Because af- the original Metroid is only like, what, three hours? And then they added a whole other three-hour game to it oh, at the end. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So that's that's reason enough to play Zero Mission. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it. Now, in addition to these two games, you got uh, they added Nintendo 64 games. However, they are not included in the standard Nintendo 64 Switch Online app. They are included in the all-new Nintendo 64 Switch Online Mature app yeah so that was a thing in japan yes uh there's no reason for them to do that in america right i don't think i don't think there's a reason for them to do it anywhere i think they only did that here because they did it in japan already and i guess they figure keep yeah keep all the all the mature games away from the kids yeah i mean i think there was a reason why they did it in japan, yeah but well because in japan i think the rating is 18 plus and mm-hmm. that probably comes with other regulations right um but anyway I I wanted to get this for a picture for Twitter before I uh, started the, the stream, mm. and I couldn't find it. I, yeah. I, I booted up uh, the Nintendo 64 app, and uh, Perfect Dark wasn't there. Yeah. And if I hadn't already seen people playing Perfect Dark today on Twitch, mm-hmm. I would have just been like, oh, I guess it's not there yet, and waited. Yeah. But then you told me, well, first of all, I saw all the people playing it, and then you told me it was in a different app. And, yeah. and so I couldn't find the other app. I went to the Nintendo Switch Online section on the home yeah, screen. I, it's not, all of the other apps are there, but the mature one is not. Yeah. Then I went to, what did I do? You had to go to the eShop. Yeah, I went to the eShop, so and then I finally found the page. But it was also buried in the eShop. Yeah. It, I, I had to go to the Nintendo Direct section of the eShop. Yeah. And then find the mature thing. Yeah, there it is. Oh, did you download it? I didn't download it. Uh-huh. I, I just took a... I was in a hurry, so I right. took a picture of, of well, the I'll, store page. I'll download it for you. Oh, thank you so I, I want to see something. I want to see if you download it. Does that add it to the uh switch online oh homepage. good that's question. that's what i'm curious about because i did the same thing i went to the switch online icon here mm-hmm. and i just didn't see it and then i had to go into the eShop and look for it right so so there's only two games in there yes and it's, uh, it's two it's games per- that they announced today yes it's perfect dark which we already said um and the first torok dinosaur hunter game 
which is already available on Switch uh, yeah. due to the Night Dive Studios port. So that is interesting. Yeah. It, I think Turok was the first N64 game to be on the Nintendo Switch. Yes. Because of that Night Dive Studios port. Mm -hmm. Turok, not a, not good. No. <laughs> and I'll be honest, the N64 one on Switch Online, probably the worst version to play. Because yeah. it probably doesn't have like uh, modern controls. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, try it if you want, but yeah. I don't think uh, you're going to like it. All right. No, they don't add the mature to the... Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's you got to go through a couple of hoops yeah, to, to I mean, actually get. They the really don't game. want kids to find this thing. Does this mean Conquer's Bad Fur Day is coming soon? So, I highly doubt they would do that. Well, I don't know because they added all the rare games to Switch Online, or as many as they could, mm -hmm. and Microsoft seems to be like, "I we don't care anymore." Here, hey, here's Conquer. <laughs> go nuts. I feel like the licensing would be cool with it. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I yeah. feel like I can't imagine Nintendo announcing, "Hey, everybody, go play Conquer's Bad Fur." Well, the, Nintendo didn't want to publish it originally, mm -hmm. you know, back in when it first came out. Even though they were publishing all of Rare's games, Rare had to publish it themselves, and that was like the first time they ever did that. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, Perfect Dark. Uh, we love Perfect Dark. Yes, Perfect Dark is great. I've been waiting for this to come. I'm very surprised it did. I thought they would uh, kind of uh, hold this out for yeah. a while. I'm curious if this will have the uh, more modern control scheme that like they added to GoldenEye. I would imagine so. It does have widescreen. Yes. So, but didn't the original have a weird widescreen? It had a weird widescreen. One. Maybe yeah. it's just oh. kind of taken that. Maybe. I hope it does have the modified control scheme. Yeah. I like Perfect Dark the way it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I recommend everybody give it a try. However, when I'm watching, I watched Jackson play it today. He fucking hated it. I know. I've, <laughs> I, and I was playing. I got. I was raised not to be a bully, but God, do I want to bully him for not liking Perfect Dark? <laughs> so, uh, in the chat, uh, Sir Griffic, I gotta come up with a better way to say your name. Uh, says Perfect Dark had a 97 on Metacritic. I guess that means back in the day. Yeah. It was incredible back in the yes. day. Back, you have to remember that back in the day, there weren't... The shooter landscape had not much to go Especially on. Especially on console. Yeah. This yeah. was the best... Co back then, we... Like, I liked shooters back then. Mm -hmm. And I was, was on a hunt to find games that just controlled well. Just mm -hmm. first-person games that just controlled well. Because there were a lot of first-person games that just felt terrible and that made the whole game bad. Yeah. And believe it or not, this was the best that we had at the time. Yeah. Um so I was actually playing it uh on an emulator uh like 2 days ago mm -hmm. uh when I was testing the RG cube and I always just plow through the first level. The first level is a great uh barometer for how well emulation works on these handhelds because uh Perfect Dark is already hard to emulate. Yeah. Uh, N64 games are hard to emulate. And when you get to the basement of the first level, which you can go to very quickly, uh, there's a lot of enemies. Mm -hmm. So it's really putting a lot of stress yeah. on the Nintendo 64 emulator. Uh, and I realized if I hadn't played that a million times already, I would have no fucking idea how to beat that <laughs> level. Because the level is... It's really easy. You just go all You're the way down. You're just going downstairs. Yeah. But you can't go down the stairs you got to go to the elevator and the elevator goes up it goes down yeah. it goes up and then it goes back down and then you got to find the secret exit which is behind a wall yeah that looks like it's just a wall but it's a door and there's another area up top that also looks like a wall but it's a door so there's a lot of shit you got to navigate and that's and keep in mind this is back in the day when like the objectives were different depending on what difficulty you were playing on. Yeah. So if you're playing on easy, all you have to do is go downstairs. That's it. Yeah, but and there's you're... still a hidden door to right. exit the but level. But imagine you're playing on anything higher than that when yeah. you have to do other things. Like you have to find the special necklace to unlock the door to get to the... Yeah, I would recommend if you want to play this game, just play it on the easiest difficulty, yeah. which is Agent. Yeah. Yeah. Just play it on the easiest difficulty. Mm -hmm. Don't even bother. Unless you end up liking it. Then go back and play yes. it on, on the higher it's, difficulty. It's endlessly replayable, honestly. Yeah. Spoilers? No, no, I mean, come no. on. First level doesn't count. Yeah. There's so much to this game. Yeah. I think it's incredible. Yeah. Also, I understand why people would have a really hard time with the controls. 
I was fucking born in this. Yeah. So I <laughs> got no problem with these yeah. controls. But uh, hopefully it has the updated controls. Yes. I don't know. It does have widescreen, though. So yeah. that is really cool to see. And then there's Turok. <laughs> And there's Turok. I mean, Turok was surprisingly popular during the N64 era. We were never into it. No, we even rented it like a we, couple times. Yeah, I was, it was like, like, I just couldn't do it. You know it. what the problem was? Because we had other games that were way better. That, <laughs> and that was one of those first person shooters that for some reason they decided the C buttons are going to be your movement and the analog stick was going to look. Right. You know, which, I remember that when I was testing the Hori uh, N64 controller. Yeah. I was like, wait, this is how you moved in this game? Yeah. This game also, one of the reasons why I love this game so much is because it has co-op. So it's yes. just like Goldeneye, but you can play split screen co-op with another person. Yeah. So you can play through the whole game. It's the regular campaign. You just have a whole other person playing with you. Yeah. And I think it's incredible for that, especially if you're playing with somebody who knows the game already. The game will be a lot easier. For it them. also has another cool feature called counter-op uh, multiplayer. Where one person plays as Joanna Dark and the other person plays as one of the enemy NPCs. Oh, yeah. It's just a random one. Yeah, you have to like hunt down Joanna Dark and like take her out. Uh you have you infinitely respawn. Joanna doesn't. Oh. So, so that's awesome. Yeah. That is the type of game mode you'd want without split screen. Yeah. So this game does exist in other forms. It's on the Xbox uh, 360 and it's on, you know, Xbox One and Series X. I yeah. think it's on PC as well through Rare Replay. Is, is it on PC? See, here's I'll, the thing. I'll look it up. I was told by Gothalian, who's another Twitch streamer. Yeah. He told me the PC port's way better because it has better online. Because okay. you are playing, if you're playing this online, you're playing on the shitty Nintendo Switch online. Right stuff and we know that's not that great but to be fair you're probably playing with somebody else who you know has good internet so like it's probably going to be fine yeah um but those other versions that we're talking about are 1080p they got uh yeah a freaking, the, uh, the xbox version has modern controls it's got a control scheme to emulate call of duty it's got a control scheme to emulate halo if that's what you're more and into. you don't have to do split screen and yes. in this you it looks like you're forced to do split screen yeah uh so that game mode would probably be better played on one of the other ports. Mm -hmm. uh, that way you don't, you can't screen look. It is not on PC. Uh, it might be unofficially on PC then. It probably is. It probably is unofficial. Yeah. Interesting. So anyway, if you have an Xbox, play it on Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PC port is a community decomp project. Okay, that makes a lot there you of go. sense. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad that this exists because it's a lot more accessible yes. to a lot more people. It'll be yes. way easier for people to play. Okay, and I will play that. Yeah. Uh, 